Hi, do you know that after the initial installation of the fryer, as well as before every change of oil, the fry vat should be thoroughly cleaned? If you did, good for you. But if you didn't, then I will show you how to do that in three easy steps. Preparation, cleaning, and rinsing. The steps outlined in this video will apply to four head pressure fryers with a Computron 8000, Computron 1000, and hybrid controls. If your fryer uses a Computron 2000 or SMS control, then refer to your company's standards library for specific cleaning instructions. I know you're busy, so let's jump right in with step number one. The first step in cleaning the fryer vat is preparation. Before we start the process, the fryer needs to be off and the oil needs to be discarded. You can learn how to safely dispose of old oil by watching our oil discard procedure video. Next, remove the filter screen assembly from the filter pan. Place the clean and empty filter pan under the fryer all the way in so the fryer drain is aligned with the hole in the filter pan cover. Finally, you need to have your personal protective equipment and cleaning supplies ready. For this procedure, we recommend using Henny Penny Prime Cleaner. Now that we have taken care of all the preparation elements, let's move on to the next step, cleaning. Just a word of caution before we go any further. To prevent hot water from splashing, at no point during any of the steps should the lid be closed. And to prevent damage to the filter pump, at no point during these steps should the pump be used. This is very important, so bear that in mind at all times. Okay, let's start by filling the vat with fresh water. Fill the vat slightly above the upper fill line to ensure that the oil ring gets covered. Add two packets of Henny Penny Prime Cleaner to the water. Use the gun brush to thoroughly mix the water and cleaner. Place the basket in the solution so it can be cleaned along the fry vat. Next, turn the fryer on. The fryer will start the melt mode cycle. If you're using a Computron 1000 control, set the oil temperature to 195 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius and turn the fryer off when the ready light comes on. Let the solution rest in the fry vat for 15 to 20 minutes. If you're using a Computron 8000, press and hold the idle button to enter cleanout mode. If you have a hybrid control, Press the program button, then the number 5 button to enter the cleanout mode. Press 1 for yes. The control will start the cleanout mode for 15 minutes at a default temperature of 195 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. You can use the up or down arrow button to adjust the temperature if needed. However, temperature won't go beyond 195 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. Continue the cleaning step by removing the basket from the fry vat and using the fryer brush to scrub the inside of the fry vat, the lid liner, and around the countertop of the fryer. After the 15 minutes have passed or the cleanout cycle has completed, pour a cup of the hot cleaning solution taken from the fry vat into the steam stack to keep it free and clean. Make sure that the condensation pan is placed in front of the filter pan to avoid spillage. This is done as part of the regular maintenance to keep the fryer running smoothly. For gas fryers, do not pour this cleaning solution in the flue. If you are using a Computron 8000 or hybrid control, the display will show cleaning done after the 15-minute clean cycle is complete. Turn the fryer off. Open the drain valve and drain half of the cleaning solution from the fry vat into the drain pan or another approved container and discard. Then repeat for the rest of the water. 
This concludes the cleaning step. Let's go into the final step, rinsing. Start the rinsing step by replacing the empty drain pan, close the drain valve, and refill the fry vat with plain hot water to proper level. If using Prime Cleaner, there is no need to add vinegar to this rinse and no need to perform a second rinse. Use the gong brush to rinse the top of the fry vat, the lid liner, and the countertop. Finish the rinsing step by draining about half of the rinse water into the drain pan or another approved container and discarding it. Then repeat this step for the remaining water. Wipe the fry vat interior, the lid liner, and countertop with a clean, dry towel. Thoroughly dry the filter pan, replace the filter, and place it back under the fryer. Finally, add fresh oil to the lower level line. So that's it. Remember the three easy steps to cleaning your fry vat. Preparation, cleaning, and rinsing. Your customers will be happy from the great tasting product you're gonna cook out of it.